What's up dudes, Chooch, back with another one, and today we're going to be talking about the new Sherman Max. This is a new release, and this is going to be the new veteran Sherman. Uh, this is going to be the new, basically the high torque uh, upgraded veteran Sherman, and the key thing on this guys, it's going to have a new rim on it. So, one of the main things to look at here, check this out guys, is so just some new stuff coming in. Looking at the old rim and the new rim. So this new rim just looks extremely um, way more beefier on this thing. And that was a weak point on the old veteran Sherman. That was really the only thing on that wheel that a lot of people had a problems with. And it's just because it's a heavy wheel and you're jumping it. It's a powerful wheel and you have no suspension there. So the force has got to go somewhere, guys. And even for the lightweight riders, with that 90 pound wheel almost and you're hitting those jumps and everything um it was causing some problems with the rim being dented so with the new one you can just see on this thing it just looks like it's higher quality and it just looks better the uh, material even looks like it's actually um like a real uh like cnc aluminum as opposed to that galvanized aluminum we've seen in all the other rims before and I'm not exactly sure what all this says right here, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's talking about um, the upgraded material. It might not be. It looks like it's talking about the batteries here. If you know what this says, put it below. I could probably Google translate it, but um, I definitely think that this rim is going to be a lot better than the old one. And it's not just that it's wider. I think it's just going to be better quality. All right, so... The power on this thing is going to be upgraded too, guys. So the Sherman Max is going to be a um, higher torque wheel. So the Sherman Max is going to be a, a wheel that's going to climb in those off-road situations way better than the old Sherman did. So if you ever look back at some of the trail riding footage of me of, of this, this Sherman, the only places where it struggled a little bit were on those sharp uphills or like the switchbacks where I was riding like on the mountains specifically and I would like come around the corner and it would be a sharp switchback and it would take a minute for that Sherman to get going up it and it wasn't really a, a too big of a, a deal breaker but after you've ridden the uh, high torque wheels like the um, RS high torque and the EXN and stuff like that then this thing really seemed like it lacked on those little little sharp uphills and now that this thing um, I mean, there's video of this thing just going straight up a little uh, hill climb. I'll, pu I'll put it in there if I can find it. But it is gnarly. Like, this thing is powerful. And for trail riding, I think it's going to be a game changer on this thing, guys. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. And with an upgraded rim on it, even though we don't have suspension... I think with an upgraded rim and that higher torque, this is going to be a total, um, just the best machine to ride on those off-road trails for long distance riding. And that's one thing I love to do is go to, for instance, like down in Colorado Springs, like there's a lot of good off-road trails down there, but they're all spread out. So you want a long range wheel to be able to get to all of the different spots in one day of riding. And this is the ultimate wheel for a scenario like that. So on battery power guys we're getting an upgrade on battery power with this sherman so i don't know exactly how they're doing it but everybody thought that there was going to be no more upgrades pretty much on battery power going forth with the sherman because with the abrams being released um, it actually came out with less battery power than the sherman did and so people were like okay what are they doing with the batteries here and is are they just trying to you know go cheap on us and just cut some cells out and then still charge us for the same uh, same kind of price for a lot less uh, battery power at the end of the day. And that's what it kind of seemed like at first. But I think that actually is kind of what they were going for with the Abrams is just um, literally just like a lighter weight wheel. Because once you got a 22 inch wheel, all, all that battery power in there, that thing was gonna be heavy as hell. So I think that with this one, they're going to really be going overboard with the battery power. The last Sherman was 3,200 watt hours, and that was a ton, man. You could go 78 miles of hard riding on that thing, over 100 of casual riding. 
And so with this wheel right here, you're gonna be able to go probably, you know, 90 plus miles of hard riding on this thing. That's 3,600 watt hours of Samsung cells. That really is guys, 90 plus miles of hard riding. And I'm not kidding about that. So the only other wheel with any similar range like this is the Bigoed Monster Pro. And that that thing, uh, I don't know, man. That thing just didn't sell a lot. Not a lot of people ended up getting them. And that's just not a wheel that a lot of people want to get because it's not fun. It's a 24 inch wheel. It's huge. Unless you're just commuting from point A to point B, um, then that's not really the wheel you want to get. And for a lot of people out there that are, I mean, when I say commuting point A to point B, it may seem like that's what you're gonna get this wheel for. But in reality, man, uh, you get EUCs because they're fun. And with the Monster Pro, that's just getting so big that it's just not fun anymore. I think 20 inches is the perfect size of a wheel for like a electric unicycle. I think Wheels like the V12 definitely have their place, but I think a wheel like this and like the RS19, I think that's just definitely the perfect size. Like a 19 to 20 inch wheel is what you're gonna want overall for electric unicycles. And I mean, I, I mean, I really just do. I think that that's just what you're gonna want. All right, so veteran Sherman Max, what we know, you're looking more info. You're looking for more info on the Leopard Kim veteran Sherman Max, a so it's just talking about some stuff here. So like, like I said before, only problem really was the, exactly what I said, the low speed torque could be improved. Um, the fragile rim on that wheel just for, cause that's one thing that I really took it easy with. And I'm glad that I did with my wheel is I've kept my tire pressure high on that thing. And I just have um, been easy on the jumps. I haven't not jumped it, but I've just been easier on my jumps and just made sure I hit the landing spot right with my Sherman. Um, and no suspension. I don't really think that that wheel needs suspension specifically. It's just so stable and like just the way that thing rides is so unique. I definitely want another Sherman and a high torque Sherman. I'm all about it, man. And uh, with true water resistance on it, I've rode mine in snow, I rode it in salt water, everything in between, and I think I've just probably gotten lucky with mine. I, I did have the second batch though. And yeah, and prolonged hill climbs, guys out there that just, they, I think a lot of the, the hill climbing um, problems with the veteran Sherman were a lot of guys out there that got this wheel and didn't know how to climb a hill with it and expected too much out of the wheel in the first place. And I don't think there's really any wheel out there that can get a 250 pound plus man up a like 40 degree incline while he is standing there like a zombie, not assisting it with like, the way you got a hill climb with these things guys is whenever there's a root or like a bump that may be higher than the, than the vertex or the angle of the hill you're climbing that's on that hill. So say you're going up a hill and there's a, a rock that juts out. You can't just go at it with stiff legs, guys, and just be 250 pound guy going at it with stiff legs, just hoping this thing climbs up it and just do that for like a mile straight. You gotta use your core to kind of assist it over those rocks and assist it over those roots. And I've always done that with every wheel just because, I mean, even in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, that's putting a lot of strain on this little thing. And I think that's one thing that just went wrong with the, the Shermans with just, people really thinking that they were more than what it is. But now with it being high torque, I think it's gonna be all um, sorted out. And I think that that's one thing they addressed on it is just heavyweight guys wanting to zombie leg into like a 40 degree incline for like a mile straight. And if they address that, then that's awesome. You know, like that's just, that's, I think it's great. And I'm not dogging on the way you, people ride them or anything like that. Then, I mean, if that's the way you want to do it, then do it. But I'm just saying that I wouldn't really have ex expected them to change anything like that going forward. But I'm glad they definitely addressed that. And, I mean, if you can sit on this thing as a 300-pound man and ride it with straight legs up a 40-degree incline, and they allow it to do that now, I'm all about it. Let's go for it. 
All right, so very soon you're going to be able to order the Sherman Max, guys. It's not updated yet, but very soon you'll be able to place your pre-order down below for the Sherman Max. Whenever you're seeing this, it'll probably be live. If not, then it'll, it should be live soon. Make sure that you're not pre-ordering the old one with the 2500-watt motor because the new one's going to have the 2800-watt motor in it. So just that's, that's the difference you'll be able to figure out. And you'll be even be able to see it'll say Sherman uh, V2 or the Sherman Max or whatever on here. All right, so right here, so this is what it'll say. It'll look like this. It'll be Sherman V2 and look at that. The stats on that thing are crazy. 144 miles, guys. Like literally 100 miles of just hard riding. Like it says 144 miles on it, but like that's like casual riding. You got to and 3800 bucks, guys. So not too much more of a price increase. You do get um you know, 400 more watt hours upgrades in this thing, high torque. And I think that that $200 price bump is justified for the upgrades we see here. So I'm definitely excited about it. down to the veteran Sherman Max right there. I wanted to give you all a little heads up that that's going to be launching soon. All the wheels are pretty much in stock right now, guys. Stock for everything is is has been the best it's been in a long time. So you got RSs in stock, you got EXNs in stock right now, and you also have I'm pretty sure the Shermans are going to be in stock soon as well. So the original Shermans also are going to be in stock soon. So you can place your pre-orders for the, all these here. And the link is below, guys, for e-wheels. Any, any pre-order you put through that link or any purchase of any wheel, guys, helps the channel tremendously and is greatly appreciated. So check it out, guys. EXN's in stock. RS is in stock. These are very rarely in stock, guys, and, and ready to ship out. So if you want a wheel, like if I had to pick any wheel in the world and, like, I just wanted to get one wheel to get to prove them all. I would get this right here, RS19. And I'm not kidding you guys. The only reason I don't have this wheel is because I literally got the M Super Pro right before this came out. And that's pretty much just like this wheel. But if I only had one, guys, this is the one I'd get. So if, like, I know we're always talking about all these other wheels and everything, but straight up, like, I, I rode with a guy today that was out on an RS19, and... If I just had one wheel to get, it would definitely be that one, hands down. So just to make it easy for you guys. If you want an extreme wheel that does it all, this is it. Anyways, dudes, it's Chooch. If you enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up, and I'll see you dudes in the next one.